ball and their 18-year-old star, Robbie Keane. Swindon made three changes from the side which took a point from Sunderland. David Kerslake replaced Mark Robinson at fullback. Sol Davis came in for Scott Leach. And Chris Hay was preferred to last weekend's goalscorer, Ifeonora. Our commentators, Phil Duffel. All crowded out by four red shirts. It's an indication of uh, how they see the danger on that particular score. That's Gooden. Board for Endar. Bullock was rather caught on his heels. And Wolves can break quickly. Lovely ball by Ball to Keane. First chance of the match. Robbie Keane across the face of goal. Well, he's a young player already building a great reputation. He would have enhanced it even further if he'd found the bottom corner, but instead he screwed it wide. Sedgley. Good left boot on him. No short for Naylor. Now it's Froggart. Swindon covering well, though, and forcing Wolves backwards, and Walters just got a bit of that. Or Sedgley to motor. Walters still making life difficult for Wolves, and that's not a great ball at all. Endar just inches away. He may have been injured in his commitment to get to the ball. But Dean Richards knew he had a battle on there, and he just got there ahead of the Swindon man after a really scrappy piece of play by Wolves. Also down to Gomez. And here come Wolves. Great run by Robbie Keane. Can he go all the way? Now Gooden's challenge. Penalty kick, says the referee. Everybody stopped for a moment. Robbie Keane with a tremendous run, and it's Ty Gooden's tackle that's been penalised. It's Keith Curl against Talia. It's 1 0 Wolves. And the man from Bristol gives Wolverhampton Wanderers the lead with a coolly taken penalty which really gave the keeper no chance. Swindon with another corner. Good in this time with the in-swinger, and it's almost gone all the way. It may even have been off the line, direct from the corner. It certainly fooled everybody in the middle, and I think it needed the clearance just to prevent that creeping in at the far post for an extraordinary goal. This is Bullock. Jim Kerslake now to advance. Headed away by Curl, only as far as Gooden. Great try. Stahl washed it all the way. It's, uh, Ty Gooden on his favoured left boot, struck it well. And that needed the save low down at his post by Mike Stahl. Walters against Naylor. Still Mark Walters, shooting chance. Blocked by Richards. I don't know whether that was goal bound or not, but Dean Richards got his sizeable frame in the way. And here come Wolves on the counter. Steve Ball took it down beautifully. Great shot with that side netting. But that's the danger posed by Steve Ball. Quiet for most of the match, half a chance. Well, he hit the net, but it was the side netting. Cuervo attacking Naylor. Still Philippe Cuervo, good low cross, Onura on the near post, still Ify Onura, what a real chance. Swindon's best of the game in the closing stages, unfortunately Onura just leaning back, blazed it well over. Talia urging his players forward, so no disguise in the fact that he'll eventually launch this one long into the Wolves half. Onura scrapping away and he's won a free kick in a most interesting position. It's going to be Darren Bullock just wide of the far post. Struck it really well. But it wouldn't bend enough and maybe with that go Swindon's hopes of getting anything out of this game. After Ty Gooden was adjudged to have fouled Robbie Keane, Bartit allowed Keith Curl to score and inflict Swindon's second defeat of the season.